Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at Genius Octave tool. So basically this is a scientific programming language tool that we are going to take a look at in the next few minutes. So first thing, I want you to go to genu.org and then check for Octave software. You will find web page similar to this and then go to the downloads option. Here, depending on your operating system, you can choose to download on Linux or Mac or BSD and Windows. I'm on Windows, so I downloaded Windows package and I have run through the installer. I'm not going to show that installer process because it will change one version after another. And I want to make this video agnostic to the platform so anyone watching this video will be able to use this tool regardless of their operating system okay so in after installation i managed to check the octave package in program files where i have octave t version and gui version after clicking on that i get this window as you can see it has command window file browser workspace and command history i can also change the current directory from my users directory to something else i can point that out using simply clicking on this directory icon now in this command window we are going to use it for some of the basic operations so first thing i will show you how to do basic calculation inside your command window so let's say i'm doing addition one plus one then two minus one then two multiplied by two and then four divided by two as you can see it does this basic calculation very quickly and now we will take a look at how to create variables in our command window so basically we just use any alphabet let's say a equals to 5 also you can use semicolon and you'll find that it will return blank prompt if you create variable and don't use semicolon then it will show you the output immediately in next prompt now you can also do addition of these variables using plus operator you can do subtraction using dash operator multiplication using this star operator and division using forward slash okay now apart from this you can also get your system's time which will return in a complex number as answer same with now command which will return the current time and date again in a complex number now there is also option for date which you have to format properly depending on an operating system this may be different if you are in the us or in any other country as this format will be taken from your system date options same with clock you'll find it works something like this Okay, now we have taken a look at basic calculations, how to create variables, how to use date time options. Now let's take a look at how to create a matrix. So let's first create one variable and then give it equals to sign and within square bracket separate your numbers with space and then use semicolon again add your values separate it with space 
then end your matrix with a square bracket then give semicolon again and your matrix is ready then you can use simply name of that matrix M and it will be outputted on screen now you can do various operation with it such as M plus 2 sorry M plus 2 and no semicolon and you get value added to your existing matrix with 2 same you can multiply with 3 and you get the value similarly you can do size check for your matrix and you get 3 by 3 3 rows and 3 columns okay so you get the idea of how to create a matrix and how to perform mathematical operation on it now let's take a look at how to do plotting in octave now let's first create one x-axis values so let's start from range of minus 2 then 0.5 up to plus 2 and we have our x-axis value now let's go ahead with y-axis so let's have value of x then dot then raise to let's say 2 and we have y-axis values too and now to plot x and y we use plot function or method then give it x and y and it gives me this figure so this was our 2d plot showing these set of values on our x and y axis similarly we can also create 3d plots but for 3D plots, let's start with our X and Y values. So X equals to, then we use line space method, starting from minus two and incremented with two up to 50. Then we use Y axis, line space, and then minus 2 2 again 50 so we have our x and y values now we will go with creating 3d mesh grid so we use in square bracket x s y y equals to mesh grid and then x y after that we use mesh c as function and then use axis y y and then formula 4 minus and within bracket we use x x and then dot rest to 2 plus y y dot raise to 2 okay so this pretty much sums up our read and you get 3d plot such as this okay so you get the idea of things that you can do with octave compared to matlab it has its own set of limitation such as lack of notebook then lack of some of the apps and some of the industry specific tools or you can say toolboxes like roll system and others but you get the idea of how to use octave for some of the basic mathematical operation there are plenty of things that you can use with it which are similar to matlab so this was short introduction to octave scientific programming language tool